afternoon class. So again, this is your teacher Eliza M. Atilano. You can call me teacher I. But before we're going to discuss our discussion or proceed with our discussion, what I want you to do is to turn off your microphone as well as to turn off your camera. Again, mute your microphone and turn off your camera. So, um, in this topic or in this lesson, you will know how to analyze and interpret the theme and techniques used in particular texts. So, we are focusing now on interpreting a theme. So, that is our discussion for today. So, let's first discuss what is a theme. So, when we talk about theme, it is, I mean, the theme in a story is its underlying message, message rather, or big idea. Theme is the underlying message of a story or poem. So, when we talk about theme, the keyword there is the message of the story or the idea or the totality of a story so that's how we're going to identify a theme in a story on a or a poem so it is the message in a story. next so we have an example for this so one of those is one of the theme no let's say for example we have money can't buy happiness so don't judge people based on its surface. It is better to die free than live under tyranny. So these are the examples of the theme. One of the examples of a theme. So it is not just composed of one word, but it is composed of two or more words, you no, know, representing a message. So when we talk about a message, it is not just a one word text, you no. Know? It is a um a phrase or a sentence. So that's it. it uh, that's the meaning of a theme or an example of a theme. Next, why are theme important in a story? So why do you think so? No, in in a story or in a, or in a specific poem or story, there should be a theme. No, a theme is what we call the message of a story. So. Um, the story doesn't make sense if there is no message. So that is why when we talk about theme, it is very essential in, in a piece. So theme are the central focus of the story or narrative. Why it is the central focus? Because it talks about the message. No? And then a theme expresses the intended lesson, conclusion, message, or point of view of the author. So meaning, when we talk about central idea, that is so-called central because it includes the lesson of the story, the conclusion, the message, and the point of view of the author. Aside from that, themes connect all the parts of the story such as characters, plot, and problem. So that is, so again, that is for the theme. So, it connects all the parts of the story, you know, from characters, plot, problem. So, everything, that is why it is called central because what is the message? You know, it interconnects the character, what the character do, what, uh, what is the role of the character, the sequence, the plot, the sequence of event, the problem or the conflict, the setting of the events, so on and so forth. So, that is why... Theme is important, and these are the reasons why theme is important in a story. Next. So, this is uh, a chart for a theme. So, as you can see in the picture, the theme is in the center because everything goes into it. No, Everything or the sequence of events, the characters, so on and so forth, runs with the theme. Next. Um, a theme keeps the writer on point. For nonfiction writing, the overarching or arcing theme is usually called the thesis. A thesis is also a lengthy manus manuscript with a main topic. So, um, a theme, 
uh, it says here that it keeps the writer on point. So, when we talk about the message, no? It is the central point of a story. So, everything everything that is happening in a story should be direct on the point depending on the message of the story. So, so that will make the story meaningful. So, now, uh, now we're done with explaining what is a theme, why it is important in a piece or in a story. Now, let's move on onto the techniques in uncovering the theme of the story. So, one of those is, um, one of the techniques in identifying a theme in a piece or in a story is, number one, sometimes an author will come right out and state the theme of a story or a piece. So, sometimes when we read a, a narration or a narrative, no, a piece of a author, so sometimes the, the author will um, tell it right away, no? just right at the beginning of a of the story so the author will state it immediately so that is one of the technique no in knowing a theme. next the author usually tell readers the theme toward the end so uh we have said earlier no sometimes we can identify it right at the beginning of a poem and then also, we can identify it at the end of the story. So, we have two already. Next, in reading hint, no, look at the last page of the story to see if you can find a stated theme. So, it is very essential or significant, no? Um, in reading hint, let's say, for example, uh, there is an exam, no? Read, uh, reading a story. So, in identifying the theme, what you're going to do is to scan the last page and look there for the stated theme so that's how you're going to locate a theme in a so first we have at the very beginning direct on the point second the last page and the hint there on identifying it is to look for the last page no and read through it sometimes though the theme is not stated then you need to make an inference so, when we talk about inference, a clue, no? Identifying clues in a specific story. So, if you cannot find it at the very beginning nor at the end now, you're going to use the inference or using the clues. So, we have here, no? An example of a story. Okay. So this is how we're going to locate a a theme or an inference. So we have here the uh, we have there the word free, the flu, right thing. So those are the inference or the clues that will lead us to the theme. I will not read it all loud. I want you to read it, no? silently and understand the story now after reading you can identify there or the inference that we can find there in locating the theme are the words free flew right thing okay so in this um in this um in this story it talks about Creature, so we have their butterfly. So maybe we can conclude there, no? By the meaning, uh, by the usage of the inference, the word free, the words free, flew, right thing. So maybe we can conclude as a theme that wild creatures should be free. Okay, and that is the right thing to do. So that's our going to locate. Okay, next. After that, check out the title. Sometimes it tells the reader a lot about the theme. So sometimes, no, by reading the title itself, you already know what is the theme underlying on a, on the title itself. So, so first again, we have the at the very beginning, at the last, the usage of inference or clues. The next, check out the title. Next, we have notice the repeating patterns or symbols. Sometimes this lead the readers to the theme. So if you can, uh, if you can identify the repeating patterns or symbols 
located in the specific story so maybe that's the hint or the theme or the clue in locating a theme so next in identi and identifying a theme oh the question should be what allusions are made throughout the story so what is allusion by the way so when we talk about allusion it is basically a reference to something else it is when a writer mentions some other work or refers to an earlier part of the current work. In literature, it's frequently used to reference culture works. So, by alluding to a Bible story or Greek myth. So, when we talk about allusion, no, it is mentioning other works. So, we can include there the Bible story. So, maybe the story is more on parables. So, it is more on Bible uh, Bible story so you can include or we can identify a theme by using allusions using using other works not in in identifying a theme so what are the details in the story what greater meaning may they have so um, aside from the earlier explanation no we can identify a theme by knowing the details no the meaning or the totality or the lessons of the story okay so things to remember no about theme so the theme and plot and structure are inseparable so plant I mean, plot and then are neither identical nor segregated. Rather, plot joins theme and characters as the third and most visible of any story forms, big three. Plot is the load bearer of the partnership. Not only must it produce a story experience that is both, both convincing and entertaining, it must also take on substantial weight of providing the characters with the external conflict that will force them to engage with the theme. So, in in simpler explanation, when we talk about theme, as what we have mentioned earlier, that it is the central idea of the story. So, we have also the the pattern or the flow chart or the chart of a theme. So we have there everything runs through a theme. So the theme is in the center. So that is why it is inseparable. So it is inseparable with the plot. So what is the plot, by the way? So we have uh, discussed earlier or the previous lessons that a plot is a sequence of event. So that is why the uh, it is inseparable because it is the sequence of event on how you are going to attain the central idea or the message of the story so that is why it is inseparable so everything the flow of the story must coincide with the message of or the message of the theme next plot and theme must be linked at such a granular level that it becomes difficult to describe the specifics of one without at least hinting the specifics of others. So, just the same explanation earlier. No? Everything, the sequence of events should underline with the message of the story. So, a theme determined from a story never completely explains the story. It simply gives the teachings and morals. So, when we talk about the theme... As what we have said earlier that it is the message no the message or the teachings and morals that it gives to the reader so something like that so that is a theme hmm? it 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 i mean it never explains completely the story but rather it gives you the lesson the message the morals so that is next in fiction the theme is not intended to teach or preach the theme of a piece of fiction is is its view about life and how people behave. So in fiction, so it is not to teach or preach, but rather 
It talks about life and how people behave. Okay, so that's it. So the theme in a fable is its moral. No fable is a narrative form usually featuring animals that behave and speak as human beings, told in order to highlight human follies and weaknesses. A moral or lesson for behavior is woven into the story and often explicitly formulated at the end. So when we talk about theme in fables, it, it features animals. So therefore, um, the, the characters there or the... The characters there are the animals which portrays or tells um tells a moral no a good behavior towards um in explaining or in interpreting the story the uses the animals to generate a what a lesson Next, the theme of parable is its teaching. A parable is a short, deductive, didactic story that is meant to teach a moral or principle. Parable use human characters in believable situations so that the reader or listener feels able to relate. There are many examples of parable in religious texts such as Bible or Quran. Okay. So, earlier, we talked about fables. So, when we talk about fables, it signifies uh, animal character in, in giving a message or a theme in a specific story. So, maybe it, is, um, maybe it is more on, you know, a story that will imply to children, you know, the use of animal characters in um, giving a theme or the totality of a story. Then, when we talk about parable, it uses human characters, no? And implying the words of Bible or uh, the text found in Bible and Quran, no? To make the listener, listener rather, to feel or to relate, no? It is more on giving teaching to the listener. So, that is why they uses human characters in parable. So, I hope we have um, we have gotten um, ideas from this topic, uh, and we knew now what the theme is and uh, why it is important in the story, as well as we already identify or you have known now how to identify or. The techniques in identifying a theme. So I hope we've um, we've run through that and you have understood it already. So that's how are we going to end now our topic. So thank you for listening. So I hope um, everything was digested uh, briefly, no, from my explanation from the very beginning up to the end. So that's all for today. Thank you for listening and God bless. So that's all for today. Thank you.